The 716 in two minutes, brought to you by Custom Carpet Centers. Good afternoon, I'm Febin Kasten from 7 News, and we're taking you through the 716 in just two minutes. Buffalo police are looking for suspects in a shooting that sent a teenager to the hospital. Police tell us a 15-year-old boy was shot inside of a home on Grider Street around 1230 yesterday morning. He was taken to Oshai Children's Hospital, where he's expected to be okay. If you have any information on what happened, you're asked to call Buffalo Police. Parents in the Buffalo Public School District could soon be paid to drive their kids to school. The board has pushed forward a resolution to reimburse parents for gas after driving their kids to school. Parents have complained about their children being left at the bus stop because of a lack of drivers. That resolution is now in committee. And Disney on Ice begins its run in Buffalo tonight. You can see more than 50 of your favorite Disney characters skate at the Key Bank Center. Tonight's and tomorrow's shows start at 7, and there are three Saturday shows and two on Sunday. Tickets for tonight's show start at about 12 or 20 bucks rather, and we have a link for you to buy them right now on our website, WKBW.com. Now let's check in with meteorologist Autumn Lewandowski. Well, it's going to be a, a chilly evening, temperatures in the 20s, and we're also going to deal with some snow showers, still very light, around an inch or so accumulating into the evening hours, and the gusty winds die down but still remain breezy. Looking at this hourly forecast, we'll continue to see the clouds increase, some scattered showers past that 3 to 5 o'clock hour, and a little bit more widespread into the evening, and this continues into the night, especially across areas south of 28 and along the Chautauqua. Ridge. We essentially dry out from there. We have a few spotty snow showers for our Friday and Saturday, but we're turning our attention to this coastal low, which is going to bring snow showers into North and South Carolina and continuing up the East Coast between New York, Boston to Bangor, Maine. And it's just not going to really snarl up Western New York. It's along the East Coast that we'll have some problems. Temperatures in the teens for tomorrow. As for how much snow you'll be dealing with as you're getting out the door, it's generally around an inch or two higher amounts south of 28 along the Chautauqua Ridge and we're staying cold into the upcoming weekend. Temperatures are in the teens on Saturday, 20s on Sunday and then a big warm up above the freezing mark Tuesday and Wednesday. The 716 in two minutes brought to you by Custom Carpet Centers.